Opening day of the regular season, Grant. Nothing quite like this first one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes into making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field, and the dream is still alive. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. Giannis and Lopez together down low. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the point. on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Tyus Jones. Yeah, I think something that doesn't get appreciated enough is Lillard's patience. But he's not one to rush things or look for easy outs. He knows it takes hard work to succeed. And he knocks down the first one. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports-crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. And both free throws good for Lillard. This is hard to believe, Grant. But the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. Now here's Holmes. That one doesn't drop. Good work defensively by Lopez. Middleton outside. Out to the wing. Lillard, left side. Deflected! And just over a minute played here to start the game. Kuzma finds Poole. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. And you hope this early foul doesn't dissuade his aggressiveness. Kuzma with a screen on Lopez. Six on the shot clock. And that one's good. Cool. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Lillard. Jacks up a three. Can't get it to drop. Still looking to get their offense in gear. 0 for 3 to start this game. Poole outside. Pass to Holmes. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. Beasley with it. And it's Holmes picking him up. Here's Middleton. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. Here's Poole. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Man, what focus. I mean, the hoop and the harm. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim. Knew he was going to get hit. Find and still was able to Find finish. One shot. They throw good. Pool. And you think about the value of continuity, Clark. A new coaching staff for these Bucks, But the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry. Well, I'll tell you what. Giannis is at the center of everything they do, B.A., including winning that championship. Not many conflicting personalities certainly helps. And these guys are well molded together. And finally, a made shot. They look a little relieved after that one. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Poole, the pass to Holmes. Grant, you grew up here in Washington, D.C. What's the hoop scene like here? Well, B.A., they love the game of basketball here. And the fans are unbelievable. So many stars from here, like Kevin Durant. So D.C. is kind of a sneaky, underrated basketball city. Shooting two.
That free throw, good from Holmes. Will Clark in the 2023 playoffs. The Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And in an eight versus one seed upset. We all thought they were set to make a deep playoff run. But injuries, untimely as they were, and the Heat had other plans. He does not get the second one. And so Anna Kumpo will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing by two. Last time they met in Milwaukee. <laughs> they really scrapped out a win last time. Foul trouble on the other side helped them immensely. You know, whether it was their smart play or a few whistles that perhaps could have gone either way, when, when games are tight, every decision becomes more magnified. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Poole, the pass to Holmes. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him ladder climber. And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam, bringing you the sauce. Pass to Lillard. Beasley outside. Out to the right wing. Anadokounmpo inside. Kuzma on it. Anadokounmpo can't connect. The Wizards with a lead. Here's Jones. No good that time. Some solid defense from Lillard. Pass to Anadokounmpo. it in. Giannis is a monster around the rim. Too easy there. Cool against Beasley. Here's Avdia. Back to Pool. Launches it. Sinks the tray. Poole's got eight points. Good job finding the clean look behind the arm. The Bucks have gone only two of six from the field. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Lillard. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Inside, Lillard can deliver. He's a skilled finisher. Poole, the pass to Jones. Back to Poole. Pass to Holmes. Now Kuzma. Three-pointer. Rebound by Middleton. And that's a strong closeout defensively. Great effort to deter the shot. For three, here's Lillard. And so far in this one, two for four. A genuine sniper from downtown. Lillard's confidence is what makes him so dangerous. Now here's Poole. Give him eight. Holmes, a screen on Beasley to the middle. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. The Bucks trail. Lillard with the ball. Puts up a deep three. Washington with a rebound. Kuzma outside. Jones, the pass to Holmes. Drains it. Now he's three for five. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Lillard against Jones. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Puts up a deep three. And Holmes pulls it down. The Wizards have got six of ten attempts to fall. And here's Poole. There's the three. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Boy, he is so dangerous from this area, guys. Even when Giannis is defended tight, he powers through. Jones finds Poole. Lopez with the steal. Lillard, left side. 
Pass to Middleton. Onoda Kumpo inside. Another miss by Onoda Kumpo. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. In terms of players who've kept evolving, Clark, I mean, come on. How about with Lopez? Well, Brent, I love the fact that he never stopped improving his game. He pulled the three-point shooting into his arsenal, and he also became a much more active and intimidating rim protector. Now here's Lopez. Yet to see a basket. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Lopez, the screen, goes up from the top of the key. Another miss by Anadokounmpo. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Beasley, that's good. You know, with his ability to space the floor, Beasley adds a strong dimension to his team's offense. Let's it go from 14. Cool shot is off. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Lillard with the ball. Poole picks him up. Middleton against Jones. Poole from long range. Rebound, Milwaukee. Middleton passes to Lillard. to Anadokounmpo. And Giannis with the dunk. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. Now here's Jones. Up top, Holmes. And the Wizards call time here. So for the Wizards. Kispert's checked in for Kuzma. Champini comes in for Poole. And it's Shamit in for Jones. Shamit passes to Champigny. Back to Shamit. Takes a three. The shot no good. Milwaukee's gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Beverly outside. Back to Portis. Here's Shannon. Pass to Holmes. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Holmes has got nine. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far, and when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Beverly for three. And Holmes pulls it down. Holmes has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Shannon. Holmes, a screen on Lillard. Shamit, pure from three-point range. And it's a five-point wizard lead. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Oh, I love the aggressive mindset Beverly has. I mean, that's really what makes him special. He's not afraid of getting bumped, especially when he's going to the bucket. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. And he makes it first. Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry. And with an edge, he's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. Bagley's checked in for Washington. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Avdia. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Connaughton's checked in. 
Both free throws good from Beverly. We've got 128 left in the first. Pass to Champigny. Charity stripe shot. Excellent D there from Connaughton. The Bucks trail. It's Middleton on the wing. The three ball. And it's Bagley with the rebound. Washington's gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Over Portis. No good off the back of the rim. Well, Milwaukee's shooting only 35% so far in this quarter. Pass to Connaughton. Middleton outside. And he's Crowder from the arc. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. And Clark with Jake Crowder. He's always been an asset for a team in contention. Defensively, he's versatile. He can defend a number of different positions when you look at Jay Crowder. And that, that allows him to be a guy that you can give good minutes to in the playoffs. So now they lead by one. 41 seconds left to play in the first. Kuzma outside. The three. Champagne shot is off. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Pass to Beverly. Now here's Crowder. Here's Portis. Oh, a terrific shot on the turnaround. And the Bucks lead by three. When you watch Portis, he's not just a good jump shooter for a 6'10 guy. Bobby's just a straight-up good shooter, period. Here's Kuzma. Back to Shamit. Shoots over Beverly. And the basket by Shamit. Shamit's got five now. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Milwaukee Bucks. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Bucks. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far, really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. And, you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. Washington trailing. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. Bobby Portis out there with Jay Crowder. And it's Beverly in at the one spot. Now here's Kuzma. No points so far. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Grant, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. But that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. That's good from Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is a guy who burst on the scene during his rookie year and is a fun player to watch. He's a guy that really has an outstanding all-around game. Now here's Middleton. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. 
Middleton's got his first two points of the night. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Kispert, the pass to Champagne. Kuzma outside. And another basket for Washington. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Middleton passes to Crowder. Portis the screen. Beverly into the lane. And here's Crowder from the arc. And the box hit again from deep. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, everybody knows that Giannis Antetokounmpo is not just one of the best bigs in the league, but one of the best teammates all the way around. People say about him, he does everything. His teammates say he deals with guys, takes good care of them, makes sure they're healthy from top to bottom. He's the ultimate leader. Special talent, Allie, and a special person. Thanks for that. Now here's Kuzma. He's got five. And that one's good. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finding his offense. Beverly outside. Pass to Crowder. Washington with a rebound. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Kuzma, the pass to Shamit. Bagley is screen on Beverly. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. First in rebounding, second in opponent field goal percentage. And last year, they were top 10 in the league in scoring. This team executed well on the offensive end. And you brought up their rebounding. It was impossible to beat them on the boards. They were committed to that part of the game. Jordan Poole, he's checked in for Washington. Jones comes in for Shamit. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Kuzma. And with a pause in the action, here we have the best rebounding teams from last year. Number one, Milwaukee. Last year, this was a team that owned the paint. They were so committed to rebounding. And that's a stat you love to lead the league in. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Good on the shot. Middleton's got four points now in the quarter. I like the fact that Middleton can get the shot he wants because of his ball handling ability. Pass to Bagley. Bagley is screen on Crowder. Kuzma, the pass to Bagley. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. <laughs> These teams have swapped leads seven times already. And we're not even in the second half. Now here's Beasley. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Middleton, no good. Now Kuzma. Poole outside. Here's Jones. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there? I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Lillard's checked in for Milwaukee. And the second free throw is good. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Middleton passes to Lillard. Oh, ho, ho. Lillard with a deep three. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you can find his teammates, too. Poole against Beasley. Bagley is screen on Beasley. Poole, the pass to Bagley. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Mind 
the lane. Good shot. And the free throw, no good. For Milwaukee, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Jones against Lillard. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Tyus Jones. Yeah, inside Lillard is just so scrappy, turning aggressive defense into a foul while shooting. Gills checked in for Washington. Gold shots good from the strike. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Now here's Jones. Over Lillard. Jones misses. Milwaukee has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Well, Clark, we know what Bobby Portis brings to the table. He loves the ball. Yeah, he does, and he does it with a smile, with great passion and energy, and we do know that he'll give you double-digit points, and he'll stretch the floor with his three-point shooting. Count it. Portis has got his second basket of the night. This is Portis in his comfort zone, scoring deep inside. The Wizards have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Pass to Gill. Kuzma with the ball. And another miss by Washington. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. To the inside. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Portis has got four points now in the quarter. Hard to exceed Portis's level of energy. I mean, he just doesn't seem to ever stop. Jones finds Kuzma. For the paint. Here's Gill. And there's the rejection. Middleton outside. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Shot. The Wizards making a switch here. Holmes is checked in. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Anadokounmpo is checked in. and so highly productive and consistent. A steady contributor night in and night out. Holmes, a screen on Beasley. Will it go? Tips it up. Controls the rebound and the putback. Holmes has got 11 points. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive board. He did it with great position. Anacumpo for three. What a make! Giannis for three! And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Holmes passes to Kuzma. Here's Kispert. Kuzma outside. Just five on the clock. Unload from 13. On an Akumpo with the block. For three, here's Lillard. Oh! For three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Now a timeout called by Washington. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat.
Avdia. He's checked it. Kuzma. Crowder, he's checked in for the Bucks. <laughs> Left side Jones. Here's Avdia. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Miami. And with all the attention he drew offensively, he did a great job of just kicking to the open man. Clock at four. Back to Poole. Fires the three. Oh, Poole can do that. Picking up right where he left off. Hit two triples in the first quarter. Now he gets another to fall. Lillard passes to Crowder. And Crowder with the jam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Hey, <laughs> nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by him, not into him. Three shots. Three shots. Good on the first of three. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. Makes all three. Milwaukee with the ball. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Lillard. Jones with the block. And the Wizards on the break. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. You're looking at the best in free throw shooting last year in the NBA. Damian Lillard fourth. Very steady at the line. He's the guy who isn't rattled easily. And that shows in his free throw shooting numbers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So good. So he hits both free throws. And so it's on Kumpo with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. Leading by five. And when you take a look at them defensively, they finished in the top half in the league in opponent field goal percentage. They really made an effort to try to make things difficult for their opponents at all times. And their offensive execution was simply outstanding. They finished in the top 10 in field goal percentage because of how disciplined and focused they were on playing to their strengths. First one falls for him. Shamit, he's checked in for Washington. both free throws the Wizards have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second pool from long range oh using that sweet stroke pool connects from deep they're having more 
more success with the three-point shot here in the second quarter as they try to cut into this lead. Pass to Crowder. And here is Hanada Kumpo. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Nice job in the second quarter, just pounding it into the paint. Good way to maintain the upper hand. Well, Clark, with his mix of power and length, at times Giannis can seem unstoppable. You know what? Not often is it that one guy forces teams to reconsider their whole defensive game plan, but Giannis forces you to build the wall because you don't want him getting downhill or he'll make you suffer the consequences. and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team they all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness now here's Poole coming off a 22 point game against Miami Kispert on the wing there's the triple and the Wizards with another three that right there that's the kind of look this system is designed to create Crowder outside Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Beverly. Portis the screen. Pass to Out of the Kumpo. Six to shoot. Dallas throws it down. Smart pass by Portis, showing the ability to make good decisions with the ball. Washington has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Now a timeout called by Washington. And the Bucks making a change here. Connaughton's checked in. for him. Holmes, a screen on Lillard. Poole, the pass to Holmes. Over on it to Kumpo. And there's Holmes on the assist by Poole. Poole's got three assists in the game. Beverly outside. On the wing, Connaughton. No good with the triple. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the track. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Brooke Lopez, over the course of his career, has become an elite rim protector and also stretched his scoring beyond the arc. His teammate, Giannis Antetokounmpo, said, quote, he competes hard for his team, and he's a big part of who we are. We need him, offensively and defensively, to be great. Brian? Hey, he's such a key player, Allie, no question. Thanks. And the Wizards with possession here. Following the score by Milwaukee. Champagne shot is off. Pass to Antetokounmpo. 133 left in the first half of this one. It's good on the putback. Portis has got six here in the quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Champagne. No made baskets yet.
Shooting two. And he drops the first. And the Wizards making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Beverly. And so he hits both. A minute 15 left in the second quarter. Ana Kumpo surveys. Oh, and the jam by Giannis. How about the flash by Ante Takumpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Now here's Poole. 20 points for him. Here's Kuzma. And again, Washington, no good. Milwaukee has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. 4-3. Rebounded by Kuzma. And so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for Washington. Pass to Poole. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Shooting two. Free throw good. Cool. They found their rhythm at the free throw line this quarter. Trying hard to make up ground. Kispert's checked in for Champagny. Both free throws good for Poole. I like how he's upped his aggressiveness here. Finding ways to get to the line in this second quarter. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Lillard puts up a deep three. Yes, sir! You can count on Dave from deep. Boy, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding Bob. And here is Kuzma. He has seven. Holmes, a screen on Ana Kumpo. It's Kuzma with the miss. Tried to come right back at him with the three. Not that time. And so it's Milwaukee. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. A three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on. that extra point at the end of possessions and more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've unleashed the dog. Shaq, you're a dog. You understand what that is. You know my feelings. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Now taking a closer look at the first half, how about the performance from these two guys? These two are showing how good they can be. It's not easy to carry a team. But they're doing it. Now the trick is, can both guys carry their teams for a full game? Because for what I've seen so far, they might have to. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter.
And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. One of the stories here, Jordan Poole. Man, is he getting it done today. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Jones and Poole teaming up in the backcourt. Avdia and Kuzma at the forward slots. And it's Holmes in at the five down low. That's the group for Washington right now. Now here's Poole. Jones from outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. On and Akumpo has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Lillard. Lopez, the screen. Lillard finds Lopez. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Give Lopez an easy one around the rim, but you don't like sending him to the line either. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Lopez. You know, Brooke Lopez has consistently evolved as a player, adding layer after layer to his game and making himself a threat on both ends. So hits one and misses one at the line. And Washington shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Middleton against Poole. Holmes, a screen on Middleton. Poole for three. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Now here's Lillard. Knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Looking at last year, here were the players that led the way in terms of overall scoring. Third is Damian Lillard. And of course, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two premier scoring options that defenses really have to scramble to account for. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Five on the clock. And Lopez gets it to go. A nice job from Lopez to catch and shoot in a fluid motion. And for a guy as big as he is, that's really impressive. Jones with a screen on Beasley. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Now here's Lillard. Give him 20. Down low. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Lillard. And it's an 11-point Bucks lead. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Good. Pool. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so Lillard will bring it up for Milwaukee. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Poole. Jones with a screen on Beasley. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. He's lost his concentration in the second half. And you can see that in the turnovers pile. Before the break, he had just one. Now he's got a bunch. 
Milwaukee in the lead. Lillard outside. Lopez, the screen on Jones. Here's Middleton. Pass to Beasley. Lopez in the post. Defended by Jones. And Lopez gets it to go. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Beverly, he's checked in for the Bucks. Holmes, no good on the free throw. The Bucks have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And when it comes to Giannis Antetokounmpo, such a lovable player on and off the floor, Clark. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's just such a carefree, gregarious, outgoing personality. Somebody that doesn't take himself too seriously. And he likes to tell his fair share of dad jokes, too, which is pretty endearing. The Wizards have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Jones, the pass to Avdia. Now Holmes. Pool outside. Kuzma outside. Pass to Jones. Lex the three fly. Rebounded by the Bucks. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Now here's Lillard. They lead by 11. Largest margin of the game. Shot clock at five. Lopez can't hit. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Cool for three. The Wizards with another miss. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Middleton outside. Lillard against Jones. And play stops. A the whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Now here's Poole. He has 29 now. Inside, Lopez with the steal. Lillard outside. From outside the arc. And Holmes pulls it down. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. It's Avdia on the wing. And another miss by Washington. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opener. Beverly finds Lillard. Lopez, the screen. Lillard with the ball. And it's Holmes picking him up. Beverly for three. The rebound by the Wizards. Avdia's got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Poole. Back to Jones. Holmes, a screen on Lillard. They still need this. Oh, rejected by Lillard. Now out of the Kumpo. 20 points for him. Now here's Lopez. Back to Lillard. Beyond the arc. It's good. He's 6 for 12 from the floor. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. And the Wizards call time here. Wow, Damian Lillard really having a great game. They really need to reshape their defense. They have to get out to him quicker to slow his three-point attack.
Right side, Jones. Pass to Kuzma. To snap the cold streak. Counted from distance. Kuzma's got 10. A reliable stretch for In this day and age, Kuzma is very valuable because of his three-point shooting. It's Middleton on the wing. From six feet away, rebounded by Kuzma. And so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for Washington. Oh, man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The fearlessness they've shown going strong inside has been impressive. The defense hasn't been very effective against them. And the thing I've seen that I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved. Unselfishly making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. Free throw good. Poole. Kispert's checked in for Washington. Throws good for Poole. Here's Beverly. Pass to Lillard. Oh, Lillard shrugs off the contact. And you see why he's one of the top scorers in the league. Lillard does it in so many ways. Jones, the pass to Holmes. Poole with the ball. Outside Jones. And here's Kispert from the arc. Rebounded by Lopez. For Milwaukee, they've gotten six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Lillard passes to Middleton. Now here's Kumpo. For three, here's Lillard. And the box hit again from deep. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now here's Jones. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! Just straight tricking the defender with the shot fake. This is how it's done. Anadokounmpo, right side. Knocked away. Here's Obdia. No points yet. Pass to Poole. Holmes, the screen on the Kumpo. Clock at six. Poole's shot is off. For Milwaukee, they've gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Back to Middleton. Over Kispert. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. The Wizards shooting just 36% in the third. Jones with the ball. Holmes, a screen on Beverly. Here's Poole. It's good! Jordan Poole! Man, he's tough to stop. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Here's Lillard. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on Jordan Poole. Yeah, defensively, you think Lillard's going to hunt for the three ball, but then he puts it on the floor and just attacks. Shoot two. Throw good. Lillard. And the Wizards making a change here. Bagley's checked in. And both free throws good for Lillard. And the Wizards with possession here. It's a 14-point game. Jones, the pass to Kispert. Poole outside. 
Pass to Avdia. Here's Kispert. Here's the three. It's the three-pointer. Kispert's got eight. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Ana de Kumpo, left side. Over Avdia. And it's Ana de Kumpo with the miss. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Here's Jones. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. The way he's struggling this quarter, he's only adding to their troubles. They need his offense to come around. And the Bucks miss again. The Wizards have gotten six of four. Shots to drop in this third quarter. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. Champinney, he's checked in for Washington. Shamit comes in for Jones. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Connaughton, he's checked in for Lillard. Pass to Champinney. Launches a three. Hits the trifecta. He's got five. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Carlton finds Middleton. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Tightly guarded. Tipped away. Now the Wizards in transition. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. A dynamic finish, then decides to good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. We've seen those kinds of plays get them going in the past. Here's Middleton, following the bucket by the Wizards. Pass to Lopez. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got his fourth assist in this one. He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half. But he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. It's Shamit on the wing. Beverly defending. Shamit passes to Bagley. He gets it in there. Bagley's got four points in the quarter. And their outside game has simply evaporated here in the second half. Not a lot of great looks from deep. Out of the Kumpo. Outside. Middleton looking around. Back to out of the Kumpo. Just five to shoot. Avdia pulls it in. Avdia's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Kispert. And there are the Wizards with another bucket. And you look at how they've come out in the second half. It's almost like night and day. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Now here's Middleton. He's got six. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Over Avdia. And out of the Kumpo, the bucket on the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got five assists tonight. Here's Shamit. He's got five. Right side Bagley. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Good, Bagley. Both teams will make substitutions. Second free throw, no good. Just a big-time effort for Damian Lillard, providing a lot of energy for the Milwaukee Bucks. 
He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. A moment ago, head coach Doc Rivers in the huddle. Come on, let's keep it going. The ball movement is good, guys. We're getting great shots, but we're giving up too many shots. Exchanging baskets. That's not what Doc Rivers is looking for. Asking his guys to clamp down on defense. Yeah, he wants it all. He sees an opportunity for his team to dominate just a little more. But overall, he wants them to take advantage. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the floor for Milwaukee, they've got Malik Beasley. Jay Crowder is out there with Danilo Gallinari. Then there's Damian Lillard, and it's Portis in at center, filling out the middle. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. <laughs> Strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. Now here's Lillard. Steps back and fires. Got a hand on it. It's Shannon on the wing to the inside. Here's Bagley. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Rebounded by Champagne. And Penny's got four rebounds now. To the paint. Here's Kuzma. And it's Kuzma finishing it off. Boy, he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Rising off the ground like that. Kuzma takes a lot of pride, not only in finishing with finesse, but power, too. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. To take the lead. That's why me and so many others are so high on Kuzma. Outside Gallinari. Can they get it? Porter's shot is off. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Oh, Gallinari with a steal. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. Strong move inside. Gallinari can beat you with finesse. He can also beat you with power. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Wizards? Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Take Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. Well, something else that stands out is how they've shared the ball. I mean, they're getting a lot of their points from sharp passing. First free throw is good. Holmes, he's checked in for Bagley. Both good from the line that time. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Pass to Champini. Here's Shannon. Off the mark there with a three. And so Gallinari will bring it up for the Bucks. From the baseline. And Beasley gets it to go on the assist from Gallinari. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Here's Champini. Kispert, the pass to Kuzma. Holmes, a screen on Gallinari. Kuzma for three. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. 
Damian Lillard picks one up. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal attacking basketball. I like that. He's off on the first. Butler's checked in for Washington. Good on the second one. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Butler against Lillard. That's tipped. Takes the three. Washington with a rebound. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Here's Kuzma. It's tipped. Using that 7-2 wingspan. Very effective. Porter's just obliterated that shot. Pass to Gallinari. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. It's making a switch here. Champagne's checked in. The Bucks also with a sub. Lopez is checked in. minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to Kispert. And here is Kuzma. Holmes, a screen on Gallinari. Kuzma for three. They get it again. Holmes, good. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the black. Now here's Lillard. Lopez, the screen. Lopez, it's good on the putback. And the Bucks lead by three. Yeah, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Here's Shamit. Holmes, a screen on Lillard. Shamit passes to Holmes. Three on the clock. To tie it up. Shannon, no good. That's how you stay connected to a shooter. Was right in his jersey. Crowder finds Lillard. Let's it go from deep. Drains the triple. And it's a six-point Bucks lead. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Shamit passes to Kuzma. Holmes, a screen on Gallinari. Kuzma for three. Pulls it in. Milwaukee has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Yo, watch it. Beasley outside. From deep. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Beasley's got five points in the quarter. When defending Beasley, you've got to get up on him. I mean, he's lethal as a catch-and-shoot guy. Kispert on the wing. To halt the run. A rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And here's Crowder from the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Pass to Champagne. Over Beasley. 
and misses it off the right side of the rim. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Here's Shamit trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Pick by Holmes. Shamit passes to Holmes. Here's Kispert. Fires from deep. Holmes, a screen on Lopez. Shamit fires in the triple. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Timeout call. Milwaukee. And I'm sure the players will be staying hydrated with some Gatorade during this timeout. It's so important that they maximize their ability to recharge during a short break like this. Washington making some changes. Avdia, he's checked in for Kispert. Jordan Poole comes in for Champagny. And it's Jones in for Shamit. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Crowder. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Doc Rivers as he talked with the team. He told his guys, let's not waste this advantage. Hold on to it. Stay aggressive. Let's not give up ground. Coach wants to see his team staying strong out there, guys. Thank you for that, Ali. Now here's Lillard. Beasley outside. Lillard against Jones. Lopez is screened on Jones. <laughs> the basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Used all seven feet and about a third of a ton to get that one up and down. And it's Jones with the ball for Washington. They trail by 14. Pass to Holmes. Here's Poole. Puts the move on. The putback. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. You can see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. Now here's Lillard. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. A difficult situation for Washington. Jones finds Poole. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. Such great timing, defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Now here's Lillard. Down low. Here's Lopez. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Lillard's got eight assists here tonight. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Here's Kuzma. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Love the size and athleticism Kuzma possesses. He uses both of them well to draw these fouls.
That's good from Kuzma. hits them both and here's Lillard going inside out to Beasley here's on it oh and the jam by Giannis takes so much work to keep Giannis off the glass he's got that great length and athleticism boy he's a real problem on the boards and that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Easily against Poole. Lopez on the double team. And there's Holmes on the assist by Poole. Poole's got five assists in the game. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Now here's Beasley. Throws it up high. Stolen by Holmes. Pass to Kuzma. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Damian Lillard picks one up. Already a skilled interior player. At times when Kuzma is close to the basket, you have no choice but to foul him. First one falls. Picks up just one from the line that time. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Jones, the pass to Holmes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Holmes. And it's Lillard with a ball for Milwaukee. Pass to Lopez. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Jones. Over Lillard. Here's Holmes. Rebounded by the Bucks. Honor to Kumpo. The pass to Beasley. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Hey, give Beasley all the credit there. I mean, when he got hit, he was not satisfied with just free throw. And Clark with Malik Beasley. He's someone who can really light it up offensively. Yeah, you know, he can shoot it off of movement, off the dribble pull-up, or he can take it all the way to the rack. I think he's much more than just a spot-up three-point shooter. What's up? Good from Beasley. 
you know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player, and we know he's skilled on offense. Jones, the pass to Avdia. Poole outside. Pass to Kuzma. And he knocks the jumper down. Kuzma's got 20. The Bucks shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. Beasley finds Lillard. 13 feet out. Avdia pulls it in. Avdia's got nine rebounds now. Outside Jones. Pass to Holmes. He gets it to go again. Nine for 13 so far. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Lillard against Jones with the floater and that one's good Lillard Lillard's got 38 points they came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight a fantastic effort to get it done here for the Bucks. it was stop and go for them along the way but they finally seized full control of this game <laughs> B.A. the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story they were able to pull things together when things got tough. And, of course, they closed strong. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And that'll put a little extra meaning on their next game. No team wants to go 0 for 4 against an opponent, no matter who it is. And this isn't one of those mini-series either. I mean, this is a four-gamer. As hard as it is to beat a team three times in a row, it's even harder to do it four straight. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Damian Lillard. Got to respect the leadership he showed today. Made great reads and distributed the ball accordingly. Now here's Anadokounmpo to the middle. Here's Lopez. And Holmes pulls it down. Outside Jones. Stymied by Middleton. Middleton making his presence known on defense. Terrific block. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Shamit, no good. Now Gallinari. Pass to Beverly. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Damian Lillard.